With our latest Edgewonk update, you can now share your trading journals with other Edgewonk users. And this is very simple to do. So let's assume another Edgewonk user wants to send us their trading journal. What we have to do is open the settings, go to account, and you need to enable the last option here so that other Edgewonk users can send you their trading journals. So now that we have enabled it, other Edgewonk users can send us their trading journals. They only need to know our Edgewonk email address. So this is the email address that you use to sign up for Edgewonk and it's the email address you are using to log in into your Edgewonk account. So now we're in the Edgewonk account of a different user and we want to send this trading journal to the other Edgewonk user. How do we do that? We open our overview of all created trading journals and we want to send this journal to the other user. And what you see is when you hover over one of the rows here, this is the share icon now. So when we click on this and here you type in the email address of the Edgewonk user that should receive your trading journal. And here we remind you that the other user needs to enable sharing in their account as I've just shown you. And then after you've entered the email address, we only need to click on share and you will already see that now it is shared with the email address. This is the date where you started sharing and this is the action to undo it. So if you want to delete the share and make sure that the other user doesn't see your journal anymore, this is the button. It's important to know that the other user only has read only access. So the Edgewonk user that you have shared your journal with can only see your trading data and your whole journal, but he cannot make any changes. So we are now back in the Edgewonk account of the other user and he should have received our trading journal. So for that, we go here to the top right. And now we see this is the trading journal that was just shared with us. When we hover over this icon here, it shows us the user email of the one who has shared the journal with us. And now we have access to the trading journal that was shared with us in our account. So we see all of the trades in the journal. We can open one of the trades, but if we wanna make a change and if we wanna save it, it doesn't work. So this is the read only mode. You have access to all of the features, all of the functions, except for making changes to the trading account. If you wanna delete a trade, you will see that there's an error and this is because you have read only mode. And now, as long as the other user doesn't revoke access and doesn't delete sharing on their end, you have access to the trading journal of the other user.